Welcome to Excel 2010 Charting Tips. I'm Trainer Lori. What are charting tips? Well, charts are pretty easy to create, but let's also make them easy to change. The main thing is to KISS. I say keep it simple, sweetheart. You don't want to chart too many things. See how nice and simple that is? Uh, a good rule of thumb is you should chart no more than 12 items. For example, I want an instant chart. If you think it's too hard, it's not. All you have to do is highlight the data and then hit F11. Instant chart. Just that easy. And the new chart is on its own tab. To make a regular chart, just go to Insert. And after you've selected your data, and then choose the kind of chart that you want. You have multiple options. It's also important to know the difference between X and Y. X goes across the bottom of the chart. It's also known as the horizontal axis. And Y goes up the side, also known as the vertical axis. Here's a good way to remember the difference. Why are you running up the stairs? <laughs> See, Y is running up the stairs. You can easily change any part of a chart, no matter how it was created. So you simply click it once, and then click again. And as you do, you drill down, and you'll get different things. It's easy to format in charts as well, simply by right-clicking on it. Remember to be on the thing that you want to format, and then you'll see Format, and then whatever it happens to be, in this case, a data point. You can also format using the tab, Format tab, and this is a good way to select. If you find that it's difficult to drill down and click on what you want, because maybe it's so small, then uh, you can choose it here. But of course, you need to know what it's called. Uh, in this case, it's the legend. And then you click Format Selection, and you can change it there. In the Design tab, you can change your chart type, so you're not stuck with one that you don't like. So if you've uh, decided you want um, a pie chart, uh, you can come in here and change it to maybe an exploded pie chart, or maybe uh, to a bar chart that's made with uh, cones instead. On your Layout tab of the Chart Tools, and of course the Chart Tools only show up when you've clicked on a chart, but you also have options, uh, for example in the Legend, if you want to uh, show it in a different location. To customize a line chart, this is one of those things that people ask me about a lot. They want to be able to see two different kinds of charts in one. In this case, we've got the sales and we have the goal. And I'd like that goal to be a line chart instead of a bar chart. So all you have to do is click on the second uh, data point here and, uh, and then right click on it. So you select the second series, right click on it, and you have the option to change the series chart type. In this case, we want to change it to a line. So now we have the goal in red, and we have the uh, actual sales in blue. In fact, you can make it even more fun by taking any s sort of shape. For example, I inserted a, a, a thought bubble, and I copied it. And then I went to the bubbles over here, and I pasted and turned in all those little uh, olives into uh, thought bubbles kind of fun. Thank you. That's all this time. We'll see you next time.